president and his administration in efforts to save Social Security and help save recipients. But with the recession looming, many say it's a bad idea. As with the old age and survivor's insurance trust fund depletion it faces 2023 reports, the president has suggested that some are calling for a sweeping four-point plan to bolster funds in a trust. The plan will also help the $22 trillion funding shortage shown in the 2023 trustees report if the federal government cannot fix the shortage. It could result in benefits cutting up to 24% of retirees beginning in 2033, while some of Biden's proposed changes will affect the high earners and company executives. Those who have retirement savings plan on potentially hiring than the average American. Some will affect the middle and low income wage earners. Analysts have also noted that it will especially affect those who may rely on Social Security benefits in the future. Currently, any earned income below 160 grand is subject to a payroll tax. Earnings exceeding that amount are not subject to any taxes. Biden plans to tax the earned income above 400 grand, leaving wages above 160 grand, up to 400,000 on tax. Each year, Social Security benefits are addressed and based on inflation adjusted through cost of living allowance. Currently, the administration uses this to calculate the COLA, but this doesn't necessarily reflect the lifestyle and expenses of retired people. Shifting COLA calculations to figures tied to the consumer price index for the elderly won't even solve the problem for Social Security running out of money. It could just put more money into the pockets of retired Americans who need it the most. The primary insurance trust fund is an amount indicating that how much Americans will receive in Social Security benefits. A lot depends on your age, when you begin claiming benefits, and your average index on the earnings. Increasing the primary insurance amount for Americans ages 72 to 82 would help those experience rising experiencing and also health care. The low wage earners receive a special minimum benefit regardless of how much they made while they work. In 2023, a lifetime low working earner would receive $12,000 in Social Security benefits or $1,000 a month. Biden intends to increase the minimum benefit to 125% of the federal poverty level for an individual. An example in 2023 is someone receiving a special minimum benefit would receive $1,500 per month with the boost. However, any Social Security overall plan would require the bipartisan support in Washington, and so far Democrats and Republicans haven't been able to see eye to eye in some ways. But fears of a recession have mounted since the Federal Reserve began hiking the interest rates in early 2022. Because according to a chief of economists, although the latest gross domestic product figures indicated growth, a recession could still be imminent. With rampant inflation, Americans are grappling with wages that struggle to keep up with the rising cost of living and things like this. But just about 28% of people say they approve of a fourth stimulus check. We've all seen content creators. Do you agree with this, everybody? Tell me in the comments down below. So will you be receiving a stimulus check this month? I know that's the question that many of you want to be answered. Listen to this. You are eligible to receive more stimulus checks from a new federal program. This is really great because it's going to help so many people that are financially struggling due to the crisis. So remember folks, on this channel, I always do my very best in providing you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check and social security news. So it really means a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel. An executive order to ensure, to ensure that uh, the federal government puts you, the American people, at the front of the line. And for first and everything we do, I'm directing 17 agencies here. Millions of people currently qualify for at least one bonus refund check. Officials even said that there are billions of dollars in unclaimed payments right now. These checks can be worth over a thousand bucks for many of you guys. And according to CNBC News, there is a decent chance that your state is holding money or that others' assets belong to you. And the government officials want you to have it. The National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators has said that about 33 million Americans collectively have an estimated $70 billion worth of unclaimed property being held by the state treasury. The types of assets that end up with states range from uncashed checks or rebate checks to an active brokerage accounts and unpaid life insurance benefits. The average value of each claim is 2000 bucks. Last year, about $4 billion in property tax was returned to the rightful owners. While each state has its own rules that govern the process of claiming the property, you can count on being required to prove that you are the rightful owner. For example, providing documents confirming your identity. States often try to locate people as well, for instance, matching the owner's information to a tax turn. 
and according to officials, state treasuries get new unclaimed property turned over to them every single day. Officials are encouraging people to check their their missing money in a national cleaning house for unclaimed assets, and most people are participating in this. The IRS may have some extra money for you, and the tax agency has announced that more than a half billion dollars in outstanding refunds remain unclaimed for the 2019 tax. The agency estimates that more than 1.5 million taxpayers might have qualified for a refund but did not file a federal income tax turn for the 2019 tax year. If you were to do a refund, you must file a federal income tax turn to get your money. Things are a little bit different this year. You have more time than usual to claim the 2019 refund. That's because the normal filing deadline to claim refunds is typically around the April tax deadline. But the filing deadline, everybody, for 2019 tax turns wasn't normal at all. It was postponed to July 15th due to the crisis. The IRS estimates the midpoint for the potential unclaimed refunds for 2019 to be $893. That means half of the refunds are more than $800. Social Security Administration, there are more than 334,000 beneficiaries here in Palm Beach County. Seniors are the most vulnerable because they have no way of making more money. The complex offers seniors assistance where it can, but the property manager says he's never seen so many of their tenants struggling to pay their bills. What do you choose, food or rent? Charitable organizations now come by weekly to hand out food. And today, the line to get food was substantial. So, shocking news, you can expect more stimulus checks very soon. It's because Congress is discussing an action plan to address inflation again and help the people on low income. So we know that direct monthly payments are going to be sent out this month. Senior citizens and millions of other people in the United States will soon get their biggest benefits since 81, with the pension program set to deliver an 8% cost of the increase next year. Folks, for according to the Social Security Administration, this annual cost of living adjustment takes effect with December benefits and the payments will be made in January. With the increase, the average benefit check will rise more than $140 to 2000 bucks a month. Compared with a typical benefit of $1,600 in 2022, the Social Security Administration adjusts payments annually based on the inflation rate, which this year has spiked to its highest level in four decades. Seniors lost purchasing power again during this year since the 5.9% they received in 2022 is well below this year's rise in prices. According to an October survey by the advocacy group, the Senior Citizens League, about 4 in 10 seniors, said they drained their emergency savings just to stay afloat this year. And folks, that's not good because Mary Johnson, the Social Security and Medicare policy analyst at the Senior Citizens League, said anytime they go through a loss of buying power, it means they are exhausting other retirement sources, like savings or maybe even putting more on credit cards, or they might turn to safety net programs. So Johnson also added, we have just been through a period where retirees are trying to cope and manage, and they've never been through anything like this before. The 8.7% COLA adjustment for 2023 will help seniors who have struggled with surging costs from gas to food. It may take some of them a while, a while to rebuild their emergency savings.